Shalom, Makim. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekak, Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, and a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopefully let Akim out there pushing his word in all truth and sincerity so he can wake up and seal the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And you Israelites who are scattered amongst the heathen nations that may look like the heathen nations, but your father's seed line goes back to you being a so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American. Shalom. It's your brother Halaki from the GMS Denver camp coming back once again through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah with another video. And this time I want to go into uh, some I was reading, reading through this morning. It was in Solomon 4 and was in Solomon 5. Because, you know, uh... We've taken the time through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, you know, to, to, to get built up in the spirit, to get an understanding of what the will of the Heavenly Father is and what he what he expects and uh, what he wants from us. And we've been walking in that, man. And we've been diligently doing it through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. And that's what this Wisdom of Solomon 4, the last few verses in uh, Wisdom of Solomon 5 is going into, man. How... The righteous have departed this world through the fear uh, about because of our fear of, your, of the heavenly Father, and we have what amended our ways, man. We're f offending less and less each and every day. But you have the wicked, you see, including two thirds of our people who are continuing uh, continuing on in the madness of this world, man. Continuing on to walk uh, to their destruction, you know. So it's gonna uh we're gonna start right here in Wisdom and Solomon chapter 4, verse 17. For they shall see the end of the wise, talking about who? The wicked, and shall not understand what the most high the most high and his counsel have declared of him, and to what end the Lord has set him in safety. And why has the Lord and why is the Lord gonna set us in safety, Lord willing, we be a part of that number? It's because what? We made the most high our habitation, man. And let's go to that real quick. Because like I, I didn't have nothing planned, so I'm gonna just go in the spirit. <clears throat> I knew I wanted to do this video after I finished reading that, but I didn't have no scriptures lined up. So let's just go in the spirit. Wisdom of Solomon 90, Wisdom of Solomon 91. <laughs> Psalms 91. Let's see where. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon 9. It's like it. Psalms 91 and 14. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high. Because he have known my name, he shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble, and will deliver him, and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him, and show him my salvation. Who is that talking about? The righteous, man. Those that have forsaken this world, man. Who are, who are, chetty, who are steady, chopping away at that old man each and every day, man. You see? And in that, yeah, we're going to continue to fall short. We always going to fall short of the glory of Yahweh Hashem on this side, man. But the thing is, when we fall, we keep we, we get up and we keep pushing, man. That's what the righteous is doing, man. You see, our faith and our belief and our trust in Yahweh while Yahweh Shah, man. We're cleaving unto that. You see, we're trying to grow in that. You see, and and that and that causes us us to do what, man? We make we make the Most High habitation, man. Did I miss that part? Yeah. I should have went to verse 9. Verse 91 and uh, 9, because I has made Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he would give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. You see that? That's what the most high is going to do for the righteous. And that's what we have been uh, striving for, man, to receive that protection. We are we're being diligent through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem. Y'all shout to do what? Going to highways, highways and byways each and every week to do these videos, to do our readings, our, uh, our studying, fasting, praying, man. To do what? To build up our relationship with the Heavenly Father Yahweh Hashem. Y'all shout. You see, that's what we've been doing, man. That's why the most. That's why it says in Wisdom of Solomon, four and seventeen. And and to what end the Lord has set him in safety? Why? Because we made him our habitation, man. We are resting in Yahweh Shah. You see? 
We're proclaiming this truth to the world, telling you what the will of the Father is, and we want it to be done, man. That's why the Most High is going to set us in safety. Lord willing, we be a part of that number. You see? Verse 18 tells you, they shall see him, which are our enemies, and despise him. But the Most High shall laugh them to scorn. Why? Because we did what the Most High told us to do, man. And they're going to, they go, they're going to want to come against us and destroy us. But the Most High is going to laugh them to scorn, man. You see? And they shall hereafter be a vile carcass and a reproach among the dead forevermore. Talking about what? The, uh, the wicked, man. Verse 19. For he shall rend them and cast them down headlong, that they shall be speechless, and he shall shake them from the foundation, and they shall be utterly laid waste, and be in sorrow, and their memorial shall perish. And that's talking about who? The wicked, which includes two-thirds of our people, man. Why? Because two-thirds of our people have completely forsaken Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. Uh, two-thirds of our people have completely gone after Satan, man. They have completely bowed the knee to Baal, man. You see? That's why the memorial is going to perish, man. That's why they're going to be cast down, man, right along with these wicked-ass Edomites. You see? Because they refused to take heed and to hearken unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah when he was speaking through his prophets, man. So a great judgment is coming upon two-thirds of our people, man. Verse 20, And when they cast up the accounts of their sins, they shall come with fear, and their own iniquity shall convince them to their face. And that's exactly what's about to happen, man. That's the time we're living in now, man. You're going to have to face these sins that you was willingly committing out here, man. When the prophets were telling you to turn back and repent, come up out of the madness of Babylon the Great. Turn back from, uh, from your wicked ways, man. Cast off that evil man. You see? You're going to have to live with all the iniquity that you have built up, man. Because you refuse to turn back into the Heavenly Father. You refuse to make the, the most high your habitation. So when all hell breaks loose out here, you're going to be left to it. You see? Talking about you two-thirds. To hell with these heathen. They got judgment coming regardless. These Edomites got judgment coming regardless because they are, are ordained to be the wicked. And their judgment is to have fire and brimstone rain down upon them here in Babylon the Great. That's the, that's the judgment from the Most High. They are the people... They're the people of the Most High's curse to judgment. That's what they were created for. But you two-thirds, you had a chance to repent, man. You had a chance to come back, but you refused to do so. Now, going on the Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labors. And that's exactly what we're doing, man. We're standing in great boldness in the face of our enemies, man. First and foremost, we're standing in great boldness in the face of Esau Edom. Telling this man that he's going down and it's happening, man. Right before his eyes. Everything we're saying, the Most High is bringing it to pass, man. That's why you see Americans so much turmoil, man. That's why you see so much chaos going on in the earth, man. Because the prophets of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah are out there standing in great boldness, proclaiming this truth unto the world, and the Most High is bringing it to pass as he said it would, man. You see? So it says, What? Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labors. And these people don't take no account of what we're doing, man. They've never taken account. Going all the way back to the time of slavery, man, we have received no uh, account for building up this damn kingdom. <clears throat> you see, two-thirds of our people don't take into account that we're out here laboring for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh in hopes of uh, sealing the elect, man. They're not taking no account of that. And we're standing in great boldness regardless because we know what's written, man. We know what the will of the Heavenly Father is. We know that his word is going to come to pass, man. You see? Verse 2. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that they looked for. They're not expecting so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to be beamed up into so-called UFOs, man. They're not expecting so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to be taken up by way of the, the chariots of heaven, man. These same vehicles that you're seeing all throughout the earth, man. That's the salvation of the remnant of Israel, man. And these people are not expecting it because what? They don't have the light, man. They don't know the will of the Heavenly Father. It says what? So far beyond all that they looked for. They're not looking for this to happen, man. Even though we're telling them that it's going to happen, they're still not looking for it to happen. Verse 3. And they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, This was he whom we, <clears throat> whom we had sometimes in derision in a proverb of reproach. And that's what they're going to remember in that time when they're seeing us beamed up. Lord willing, we be a part of that number. 
then that's the that's the same dude I told fuck him when he was out there reading the Bible. That's the same dude I was trying to stab at camp when he was out there reading the Bible, this and that and the other. You see? They gonna feel it in that day, man. They gonna be growing, they're gonna be growing for anguish of spirit because they're gonna know in that day that what we have been saying is true. You see? This is he whom we had in, who we had sometimes in derision and a proverb of reproach, man. Talking shit to us, scoffing, mocking. You know what I'm saying? Making fun of us. You know? All that is going to come upon them, or come back upon them when they start seeing the salvation of the elect take place, man. Verse 4. We accounted his life for madness and his end to be without honor. And that's what they and that's what they do right now, man. They think we're crazy. He, had a, he, had a, he even had a damn Edomite bomb talking shit to us at camp uh, last week, man. Talking about how we on drugs and we hit a pipe before we came out here, this, that, and the other. You know what I'm saying? Just talking shit. And he a, a bum in his own kingdom, man. You see? He's accounted our life for madness, man. And our end to be without honor. Just as the scripture said. Verse 5. How is he numbered among the children of the Most High? And his lot among the saints. So how can how can this man, how can these people, you see, be the chosen people? Because that's the Most High's will, man. That's what he that's what he ordained us to be. You see, verse six. Now this is the part I wanted to get to right here. Verse six. Therefore we have erred from the way of truth, and that's talking about who this. This is directed to you two thirds, man. Therefore we have erred from the way of truth, because the truth is only for you Israelites, and the light of righteousness have not shined unto us, and the sun of righteousness, are, uh, and the sun of righteousness. Rose not upon us because you don't have the light, man. You don't know what's going on. You see, you don't have the light of Yahweh Hashem Yahusha. You don't have the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man. You see, you're you're erring from the way of truth to walk in your own vain thoughts and opinions, man. To do what you think is right. When the Most High tells you to, to, to uh, forsake your thoughts, man. You know, the Most High told you what hey, your way. Uh, your ways are not his ways Your thoughts are not his thoughts man But you just want to go out here And just do whatever you want to do man It's going to lead to your destruction So it says what Verse 7 We have We We wearied ourselves In the way of wickedness and destruction that, And that's what you jakes are doing man Following behind these damn heathen Mainly these Edomites You're wearying You're wearying yourself In the way of wickedness man And destruction Because that's all this life leads to man All this uh uh Yo, little spirit, just do as thou wilt, spirit. All that, all that does is bring forth wickedness and destruction, and that's exactly what's happening with you, Jakes, man. You out here talking about voting for the damn enemy, man. The same man who has done nothing but oppress you. When we're telling you to return back and never to trust in thy enemy through the spirit, man. You see, but you're you're wearying yourselves to walk in the way of the heathen, man, and it's going to lead to your destruction. And it goes on to say, yeah, we have we have gone through deserts. Where there lay no way. But as for the way of the Lord, we have not known it. And that's you, Jakes, man. You don't know the way of the Lord, man. You see? Because what? You trust in the ways of Esau Eden. You trust in the ways of the oppressor, which, uh, which, is, a com which is completely against Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, man. You know? You don't know what you're supposed to be doing out here. Talking about you got a, a personal relationship with the Most High, but you still out here eating shrimp, pork, crab, and lobster. You still out here committing adultery. You still out here being a damn homo or a lesbian, a transgender, smoking weed and smoking cigarettes, worshiping false idols, but you got a personal relationship with the Most High? You don't know the way of the Most High, man. The only way you can get that is through the men of the Lord, man. And you jakes refuse it. You see? You jakes refuse it, man. And it says what in verse 8? What have pride profited us? Or what good have riches with our vaunting brothers? And, that, and that's what you jakes trust in, man. You think your material bullshit is going to save you, man. You think your material bullshit is, is the end-all, be-all, man. That's not it. You see? This is the part I wanted to get to, man. Because this is what you jakes feel like your salvation is, man. Having a bunch of FRNs, having a bunch of fucking cars, a bunch of clothes, a bunch of shoes, so forth and so on, man. You think that that's the end all be all when it's not, man. We are put here first and foremost as Israelite men to serve Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. That's what it's all about. That's what we're supposed to be doing as Israelite men, man. What have pride profited us? Nothing. Or what good have our riches with our vaunting brothers, man? What good is that going to do when all hell breaks loose, man? As it's about to do 
in the coming days, man. What is all your FRNs and your fucking cars and your clothes and your, all your material bullshit going to profit you when the day of wrath comes, man? What is that going to do? You see? When all that fails, what do you have after that, man? What do you have when everything collapses and everybody's on the same playing field? Because you ain't, be, you, you ain't built no, up no relationship with the Most High. You ain't been doing nothing he told you to do. And he damn sure ain't finna accept you back. Especially when he has his, he has his man out here preaching his word, man. I ain't gonna say that because that's the most I don't know that. If you repent, maybe the most I will have mercy. Let me say it like that. You see? But you jakes are gone, man. Because you're trusting in that material bullshit. Let's go into this word vaunting, man. Let's go into this word vaunting. Vaunted. Or let's go into the word vaunt. Boast about or praise something, especially excessively. And that's all you jakes do, man. Boast in your material bullshit, especially you celebrities and you entertainers, man. That's all you have. And like I said, when all that shit collapses, when all that shit is gone, when all is said and done, what do you have built up with your how about Shimia Because that's the most important thing, man. You see? And that's what we've been doing, man. We have been building up our spiritual treasures in heaven, as your how told us to do, right? What do your how say, man? Matthew chapter uh, 6 and 19, man. What do you, what do you how shall I tell us, man? Matthew 6 and 19. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. We're not supposed to be trying to lay up treasures for ourselves on earth, man. We're not supposed to be making this material bullshit that we gain on this side uh, the main focus of our lives, man. You see? Because all that shit can be taken away in an instant. And that's exactly what's about to happen, man. All your cars, your big-ass houses. All your fucking clothes. You know what I'm saying? This, this shit that's going on with these damn $100,000 Birkin bags. Those are treasures on earth, man. Where moth and rough dose, dose corrupt, meaning that shit can, is going to pass away, man. And where thieves break through and steal. Don't, don't store for yourselves treasures on earth. That shit means nothing. But it tells you what? Verse 20. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through and steal. And that's what the remnant have been doing, man. Beginning with the men of the Lord. We have been storing up for ourselves treasures in heaven. That's why you see us on the, on the highways and the byways each and every week through the Spirit and Pali Habashim Yahweh Shah. That's why you see us doing these videos, man. Showing charity to brothers, man. Walking in the ways of Yahweh Habashim Yahweh Shah. Doing spiritual things, man, to store up our treasures in heaven. Because that's what matters, man. Building our relationship with Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. This is what we're doing, man. We're investing in the spirit. You see? Because nothing on this side is going to fucking save you, man. You see? Nothing on this side is going to get you through these times we're coming into. Not because when that RF, when that FRN crash, you niggas are done, man. Because that's what you put your trust in. You have made that your God, man. That's your idol. And we all know what the scriptures say about having no uh, other idols before the Most High. But you jakes have taken that money and made that shit into an idol, man. That's the end all be all for y'all. You see? When it's going to perish, man, it's going to fade away. The true treasures are what you're laying up in heaven, man. That's all that matters. And you jakes don't get it. You don't get it, man. So let's go on. Let's go back. So it says, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 8. What have pride, what have pride profited us, or what good have riches with our vaunting brothers? Now let's go into the word vaunting one more time. And this is all you Jays do, man. I got the bag, this, and I got the bag, that, this, and that, and the other. Says what? To flaunt, to display something ostentatiously, especially in order to provoke envy or admiration or to show defiance. And that's what you Jays do. 
You brag about all this shit that you got trying to shit on your own people, man. You see? Going into what? The pride of life, man. This is all you're focused on. That's all you hear in the music. I got this much money. I got that much money. I got this car. I got that car. I got this house. I got that. I'm, I'm flying private jets. I'm flying. Bullshit, man. Bullshit. It's all bullshit. Because at the end of the day, like I said, even as, as it's being proven now, what do you have stored up with your high Shimi Shah? What do you have stored up in the heavens, man? So when all hell break loose, you can cash in. You, do, you, you don't have nothing because you haven't taken the time. You haven't sacrificed the time of your life to your how about Shimi Shah, man? You sacrificed it to do what? To labor for this bullshit ass material mess, man. Which means nothing. It means absolutely nothing, man. And that's something I'm growing in, man. Because I was once out there trying to chase fucking FRNs, man. Thinking that was, that was the end all be all, man. Thinking that that is what, what life was all about. No, man. Because what is, what is it all about, man? Let's, let's, let's go. Let's go back to here. Let's go to Proverbs. What is it all about for us Israelite men? This is what it's all about. Tripping. This is what it's all about for us, man. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High and keep His commandments. For this is the whole duty of man, the Israelite man. You see that? Because the commandments were only given unto us to keep. So that's our duty. That's what it's all about. This is what we're supposed to be doing and laboring for, man. To continue in the ways of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh To continue in the fear of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Praying, fasting, reading, studying. Going on the highways and byways. Doing the videos. Being charitable to brothers. You see? All that falls into what? Serving Yahweh Hashem Yahweh And that's what we're doing. Because that's the only thing that fucking matters, man. And the Most High is proving that by collapsing this bitch, man. He's collapsing this place. Now, when this shit fully collapses, what do you have stored up in heaven? You see? What do you have stored up, man? Us over here? You see, we've been, we, we, hey, we fat in the spirit, man. You know what I'm saying? We've been eating every day, man. Every day we've been eating, man. Some form, shape, or fashion. Whether it be watching videos, whether it be reading. Whether it be praying, what what we we are sowing to the spirit to store up those spiritual tre uh, treasures in heaven, man. Cause that's all that matters, you see. So going back, oh no, wrong one, right here, wisdom of Solomon chapter five and eight. What have pride profited us, or what good have riches, the material bullshit with our vaunting showing off brought us? It's not gonna bring you nothing, man. You see, it's not gonna bring you nothing. Because at the end of the day, all this shit is about to be worthless, man. So what is your riches and your and your showing off, your 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 uh, uh your flossing, your flaunting bought you, man? Nothing. The most I ain't dealing with that, man. He wants you to return unto him through your Hawa Shah. You see? That money ain't gonna fucking save you. All that material bullshit, the fucking Rolls Royces. The Ferraris, the Lamborghinis, the big ass mansions, that shit means nothing, man. And the most I was about to prove that even more as he continues to break down this place, man. So it says what? Verse 9. All those things are passed away like a shadow and as a post that hasted by. You see that? All that material bullshit that you have is going to pass away, man. It's going to pass away. And, 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 and uh, Apostle Peter told us that, man. When you go to uh, 2 Peter chapter 3, and you go to 9, let's go to 9. 2 Peter 3 and 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. All of who? All of the remnant, man. Because the remnant are the only ones who are going to return. Right? Verse 10. But the day of the Lord shall come as a thief in the night. It's going to come and catch you uh, two-thirds and you people who are not prepared unawares, man, as a thief in the night. In the which the heaven shall pass away with a great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. And what is this talking about? When the ICBM missiles start to rain upon Babylon the Great. What is your rape going to do for you then, man? What is your big-ass Birkin bag going to do for you then when, that, when them damn missiles start to fall? What is that big-ass mansion going to protect you from not a damn thing because what 
the element shall melt with fervent heat, meaning everything that's created in this place is going to be completely destroyed. So what is your your riches and your vaunting brought you, man? Destruction. If you don't repent. You see? If you don't come back to the Heavenly Father. If you don't come back to the understanding that you are an Israelite, man. Because none of that bullshit that you're chasing out there in the world matters, man. You see? And the elements shall melt with fervent heat, and the earth also, and the works there, that are therein, shall be burned up with what? Thermal nuclear fire from the east to the west and everything in between everything in america will be completely destroyed to never be remembered ever again man so what are you storing up in heaven you see i, I forgot to read the last verse because it says what where your heart is is where your treasure uh where your treasure is is where your heart shall be also that was the last verse in that matthew 16 it's like i should have read that one you see so everything's going to be burned up in this place now when you go into this word works the work shall be burned up, right? The elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also in the works, right? Business, employment, that which anyone is occupied, that which one undertakes to do, enterprise undertaking, any product, whatever, you see? All these things that you're buying with these FRNs are what? Products, man. Meaning what? Everything in America is going to be completely destroyed, man. So that lets you know the things that you're laboring for are, are fucking worthless, man. They're not going to be remembered, man. You see? They're not eternal. They're only for a moment. All the, Everything that you see around you is temporal, man. You see? Anything accomplished by hand, all your accomplishments, man. Your six championship rings, your fucking 15 NBA titles, this, that, all that shit going to be destroyed, man. Art, industry of mind, and act D, and act D, thing done. The idea of working is emphasizing opposition to that which is less than work. You see? So everything that you do in this place is going to be completely destroyed because America is about to be done away with, man. You see? America is about to be done away with, man. So what are you to be doing? You see? So uh, 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 10, But the day of the Lord shall come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the work that are therein shall be burned up. Everything in this bitch. You see? Everything from the east to the west burned up by way of fire. Nuclear fire. Verse 11. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Seeing all this stuff is about to happen. What are you supposed to be doing? Seeking out your high about Yahweh Shah, man. Seeking out your high about Yahweh Shah before all hell breaks loose. That's what you're supposed to be doing. Because when you go into this word, holy conversation, or a conversation that goes into anastrophe, it means what? A manner of life, conduct, behavior, deportment. You see? And the manner of life that you jakes are still in is the manner of wickedness, man. Following after the ways of the damn Edomite. Covetous, man. You see? Lovers of yourselves more than the Most High. You see? Lovers of riches more than the Most High. When the Most High going to give us everything in the kingdom of heaven. You see? And, and, and if you had the light of the Most High, you wouldn't know that. And you would forsake this place to serve your power so he can glorify you in the kingdom, man. Because that's what's coming up to the, uh, the, the, the remnant beginning with the uh, 144, well, Yahweh Shine, the 144,000, man. The manner of life, you're supposed to be departing away from this to walk in the manner of life of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, which are the ways of righteousness to the best of your ability, man. You see, behavior, what kind of behavior are you supposed to be having? Look at, go on, go on Instagram and look at how Jake is behaving himself, man. Look at what Jake is out here doing, man. From the men to the women. You see, completely devoid of light, man. Gone in Babylon the Great, and they're going to be destroyed, man. You see? Looking un looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of the, of the Most High, when the heavens being on fire shall it's like when the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. You see? What are you supposed to be doing, man? Seeking out the Most High, making the Most High your habitation, making the Most High your rest, your your, your fortress, your your fortitude, your buckler, your shield, man, your defense. Cause when you when you break it all down, that's all we really got, man. Everything is everything else is just added onto us by the heavenly Father. How about Shemiah was shot, man? You see, 
Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shah is all that we have. Yahweh Wa Yahweh Shah is truly all that we have, man. And everything else that we receive is added unto us, man. You see? And it tells you in verse 13, nevertheless, we, you see, those that have made the most high habitation, according to his promise, look for new heavens and the new earth where indwelleth righteousness. And that's what we're looking for, man. You see, that's what we're looking for, man. So it goes on. Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 8. And what have pride profited us? Or what good have riches without vaunting brought us? Nothing, man. All those things are passed away like a shadow and as a post that hasted by. As a ship that passeth over the waves of the water, which when it is gone by, the trace thereof cannot be found, neither the pathway of the kill in the ways. And that's what these material, all this material bullshit and this way of life is likened unto, man. You see? A ship that's moving through the water is there for a moment. Then when it's gone, you can't even you, you can't even uh, uh, see that it was there, man. That's what everything that you're fighting for in this place is about to become, man. You see? A distant memory. Verse 11. Or as when a bird have or as when a bird have flown through the air, there is no token of her to of her way to be found. But the light air beaten, being beaten with the stroke of her wings. And parted with the violent noise and motion of them is passed through, and therein afterwards no sign where she went is to be found. Whew. And that's what's about to happen, man. Your riches and all this other bullshit that you jakes are uh, cleaving unto is not about to be found. It's about to be done away with, man. Verse 12. Or, as like, or like as when an arrow is shot at a mark, it parteth the air, which immediately cometh together again, so that a man cannot know where it went through. You see? That's what's about to happen, man. Let go of this place. It's over. America is over, man. Verse 13. Even so in like manner, as soon as we as soon as we were born, began to draw to our end, and had no sign of virtue to show. But we are consumed in our own wickedness. And that's what's about to be happen. That's what's about to happen in two thirds, man. They're about to be consumed in their wickedness, man, because they refuse to repent and come back to the Heavenly Father. After the most I have in this man, they're telling you what you need to be doing, man. You see? Verse 14. For the hope of the ungodly is like dust that is blown away with the wind, like a, like a thin froth that is driven away with the storm, like as the smoke which is dispersed here and there with a tempest. And pass of and pass of away, as the remembrance of a guest that tarrieth but a day. You see that? All that hope that you have in this place, voting and all this other bullshit is gonna be like a guest that's there for a day, man. It's here for a moment and going the next, man. And the Most High is about to completely uh, take away all hope from you people, man. You see? All hope is about to be lost for all of you who are not taking refuge with with, with, with Yahweh by Shimei Awashah, man. You see? But it's, what does it say about... Hey, let's listen to this. Verse 15. But the righteous live forevermore. You see that? Those who are doing what the Most High told them to do to the best of their ability, man. Those that are believing upon Yahweh Shah as the scripture saith, man. You see, the righteous, you see, shall live forevermore. Their reward also is with the Lord. You see that? And we're going to receive a reward as long as we continue to endure, man. And Lord willing, he allows us to continue to finish this race. But the righteous live forevermore. Their reward also is with the Lord, and the care of them is with the Most High. You see that? And the Most High is going to care for the righteous, man. Those that have taken heed to the word, those that have come back uh, and repented unto the Heavenly Father through Yahweh Shah, man. You see? Cutting off that old man each and every day, offending less each and every day, man. You see? Forsaking this world, man. The care of them is with the Most High. Verse 16. They shall receive a glorious kingdom, man. You see, who's going to receive a glorious kingdom? The righteous, man. Those that have what? Cast off the old manner of life and put on the new manner of life, man. Cast off the wicked works to walk in the works of righteousness, man. You see? This is what we're doing. This is what we're storing up. This is what we're putting our spiritual bank account in the heavens, man. You see? This is what we're doing, man. Fuck the bullshit here on the planet Earth right now, man. We're gonna get we're gonna get we're gonna get more than you can imagine in the kingdom of heaven, man. We just got to wait for it. It's gonna come. This ain't our rest, man. This ain't our rest. 
This is not our kingdom. We we are, we are search, we're uh, seeking a kingdom to come where endure of righteousness, man. As we just read in uh, Second Peter chapter uh, two and uh, three and thirteen, man. You see, therefore shall they receive a glorious kingdom and a beautiful crown from the Lord's hand. Whoo! You see that? Therefore shall they receive a glorious kingdom and a beautiful crown from the Lord Yahweh Shai's hand, man. Yahweh Shai is going to crown us, as it tells you. In 2nd Ezra chapter 2, man. Where is it? 40, uh... Yup. Matter of fact, let's go to 2nd Ezra chapter 2, verse 41. The number of thy children whom thou longest for is fulfilled. Beseech the power of the Lord. Now what happened? Khan. Matter of fact, I started uh, 40. Take thy number, O Zion, and shut up those that are, of thine that are clothed in white, which have fulfilled the law of the Lord. Meaning what? Those who took, who made the most out of their habitation, man, and continued in it. You see? The number of thy children whom thou longest for is fulfilled. Beseech the power of the Lord that thy people, which have been called from the beginning, may be hallowed. You see that? And who was that talking about, man? The elect, the remnant of the nation of Israel. Verse, verse 42, I, Ezra, saw upon the Mount Zion a great people whom I could not number, and they all praised the Lord with songs. You see that? That's the righteous, man. And in the midst of them was a young man of high stature, taller than all the rest. And that's Yahweh Shah, the one you ignorantly call Jesus Christ. And upon every one of their heads he set crowns and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. You see that? So Yahweh Shah is gonna put a head, uh, gonna put a head, gonna put a crown upon the head of the righteous, man. Those men that continue on in this faith. Through it all, man. And Lord willing, the most high gives us the strength and mental and spiritual fortitude to endure these times, man, because it's gonna get hard. You see? But the scriptures also tell us that we can do all things through Yahweh Shah Mashiach who strengthened us, man. And we believe that. You see? Because what we're making the most high Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah our habitation, man. We're resting in Yahweh while Yahweh shot, man. We're not trusting no FRNs. We're not trusting no damn material bullshit that we can gain on this side. That doesn't bring you salvation, man. That's not the end all be all, man. You see? Our salvation resides with Yahweh while Yahweh shot, man. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh shot. You see? So let's go back. That's why I don't use this app. Just for the apocalypse. So, uh. That's a lot. Wisdom of Solomon 5. What was that? Let's, let's start right here. So this is Wisdom, Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 16. Therefore shall they receive a glorious kingdom. And that's what we're hoping for, man. And a beautiful crown from the Lord Yahweh Shai's hand. For with his right hand shall he cover them. And with his arm shall he protect them. Why? We just read it in Psalm 91 because we made the most high habitation. Because we put our trust in him. Because we have known his name. We know his will. We know what he wants done on the earth. We know what he expects of us and what we have to do. You see? And then, and then us, and, and us doing that, the most high is going to protect us. Lord willing, we be a part of that number, man. You see? Why is it jumping like that? You see? So that's what's coming, man. He's going to protect us, man. Because what we have made him our habitation. We have put our trust in him, man. You know? While you Jakes have put your trust in all this material bullshit, which is not gonna save you, man. You see, so let's go. Matter of fact, let's get I got one more. And I'll wrap it up on this. This is wisdom of, not wisdom of Solomon. I'm stuck on that. This is uh Psalms 37. Psalms 37, verse 9. Cause this is what we're seeking for, man. Psalms 37 and 39. But the salvation of the righteous is of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. He is their strength in the time of trouble. We know that, we know and understand that, that without the Most High, without, without Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, we're not going to make it through these times of trouble on our own, man. We're not built like that. You see? We ain't built for it, man. And the Most High has proved that countless times all throughout our history. We're not built to do anything without Him while Yahweh Shah. You see that? So Psalms 37 and 39, but the salvation of the righteous is of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, those true believers, right? He is their strength in time of trouble. And Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah shall help them 
and deliver them. You see that? He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him. And that's what we're doing, man. We're not putting our trust in no material bullshit. So, asking the question again, what have what what have you been doing, man? You see, you Jakes have been steadily uh, investing and trusting in all this bullshit, but that's not gonna that's not gonna uh, save you, man. The only thing that's gonna save you is Yahweh Hashem Yahushua. He's gonna save them that what that put their trust in Him, man. And that's what we're doing. That's what we're investing in, man. You see. And as the Most High has promised, man, He's gonna de to deliver us. From these time of trouble that we're fastly approaching. You see, as it is written, man. So I just wanted to bring that out real quick. You know what I'm saying? Through the spirit of power, Yahweh Hashem I'm going to give all praises, all honor, all glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible. Through the spirit of power, Yahweh Hashem Yahushan, the sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful let Akim out there pushing this word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh Bahashem Yahushan has commanded you to do. With that, I'm going to say Shalom, Wa, Ababa, Ba.